guys, welcome back to Bright Night Tech. My name is Berto and today we are working on part two of my 3D printed double Wolverine cowl project. Uh, today we are putting both helmets together. We are painting both versions, a uh, few final touches, and yeah, I'm really excited for this. So let's get started. All right, so last time we did the filler primer. It's all ready. This time we're gonna go ahead and do a few rounds of sanding a little more filler primer, and then we're finally gonna paint it, put it all together. But as to not bore you, let's do a montage. So here I'm going in with a little bit of wood filler to try to fix that layer shift. All right, now it is all painted yellow. Uh, the finish on this guy is gonna be a glossy finish. Here is the textured version for the X-Force uh, version of it. And this is gonna be a flat finish. Uh, here are the ears for the uh, textured version on a flat black. These are gonna be glossy black for the yellow version and the stands that we made for these. Looking good. All right, now to do the black inside of the stands, instead of taping it off and trying to spray paint it, which can get really messy and really easy to mess up, I'm just gonna use this black paint editing pen and uh, go ahead and fill in the spots. Way, way easier, highly suggest it. And here is the red, super easy, barely an inconvenience. All right, now let's go ahead and glue the eye slash ear things on the helmet um i am going to super glue these because i am not going to use this for any cosplay so there's no need for me to do the magnets i'm just gonna glue it into the spot there i'm also going to do the solid eyes and super glue them on there because again not going to be worn so we're going to put those in there let those dry hold it in place just like that all right, and we're gonna do the same thing to the textured version, just like that. Some super glue and hold it into place until it grabs on. We're also gonna go ahead and do some plastic welding to make it a lot more secure and fit better. All right, finally, it is the eyes. I'm gonna use this red gel uh, filter for lights. This is the same one that I used on my Ant-Man helmet. And we are just gonna simply uh, use a hot glue gun to hold it into place, just like that. And it's going to look awesome. There you go, you just hold it into place. And that's it, and then you got these cool red eyes. Uh, but enough of this, guys. Let's get to the glamour shots.
And there you have it. I think they came out amazing and they're a great addition to the wall. Um, even though we had some bumps and obstacles along the way, I think they came out pretty decent. Um, I'm really surprised that I was able to fix that layer shift on the textured version. Um, but I think if you look at it certain ways, you can barely tell there's anything going on, at least in some angles. Um, something I didn't show with the yellow version was that I added the black lines to the cowl. Um, and I did that with some black wash acrylic, uh, but I'm not super happy with how that came out. I think it came out a little sloppier than I wanted it to. And I almost went back and just repainted it yellow. Um, I'm almost regretting that I did that, but I always have to mess with things and that's a problem I have. Um, but other than that, I think they came out really, really good. All the helmets that I print are always at 100%. Uh, I'm not a cosplayer. I don't plan to cosplay, especially with this physique. Um, so I never really size anything to myself. Uh, so the Wolverine cows, they, they don't really fit me. I think if I went up to 3%, they probably would. But that's another reason why I did the super glue on them and not the magnets because Again, I'm not going to be wearing this. They're going to be just strictly for display. So I wanted them to be solid and super glue seemed to be the way to do that. Um, let me know if you guys have done this file before. I think this was an awesome giveaway that DO3D did during the holidays. It was one of those free uh, files that they did. And I saw so many come out after they gave away that file. So I, I was really happy to uh, be a part of that and put my versions out there. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, I plan to do more double uh, helmet projects in the future. Uh, the next one I have planned has to do with old Wolvie over there. I guess you can guess what that is. There's a trailer that just came out. I'm not going to say anything because you guys could probably guess, but you guys probably want to. You guys probably want to see that even though there's a ton of the videos already. But um, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and put in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications. And we will see you next time. Deadpool. I was talking about Deadpool. I'm going to do Deadpool helmets. So if you want to see that, subscribe. <laughs>